So if you would have seen in our last video, in part one, why do you really lose listings? So we spoke about charmability. So what is charmability? Tom, have you been using your charmability with the girls? He's shaking his head, he's going, yeah, sort of, maybe. But charmability is about making other people feel more important and valuable than you. And if you remember that video, I shared the story of my interaction with Tony Robbins where he just made me feel so good because it brought my self-esteem up. So start practicing your charmability. Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the imagination. I had this question asked all the time by certain agents. Okay, Claudio, what do the high performing agents do at a listing presentation and what do they do really well? So first off, I explain to you charmability. Number two is the imagination. The imagination is about reaching into your prospect's mind, not on a conscious level, but in the unconscious mind, because the unconscious mind is where we make all the decisions. So you're probably asking me, Claudia, so how can I start practicing the unconscious level and start tapping into that part of the mind? Well, it's really simple. It's a thing called through NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. And that's the way we interpret things when we communicate. So I'm communicating to you today via video, but in a prospect's mind, when you're in a lounge room discussing the listing, the sale of their home, how can you start to really tap into that unconscious level where they make their decision? Now let's just pause for a moment. Why do people choose you? We saw the Google stats and I keep sort of humming on these numbers, but 49%, half of the decision making process is about they trust you, like you and feel comfortable with you. So how can you start to get them feel more comfortable? Well, there's a thing called through NLP, embedded commands. And an embedded command is like, it's a language pattern. It's using phrases and positioning around how you wanna get your message across so they interpret it and feel really comfortable. Let me give you a quick example. So you're for a listing presentation, we take the tour, and we generally sit down at the kitchen table or in their lounge room. So what most agents tend to do is they sort of have an agenda and say, well, look, Tom, today I'd like to cover a little bit about pricing, marketing, why me and my company, maybe negotiation, and you take full control. Remember, how can we give the power to the prospect and make them feel comfortable? The first thing I would do is go along the lines, and it's, at, what, Wednesday afternoon today here where I'm doing this video for you. So let's just say it's a Wednesday afternoon. I would basically say, so Tom, what would you like to see out of today's meeting? Or how would you like to see this, after, this afternoon's meeting go? When you ask that, they're going from their conscious level to their unconscious and they start to answer, well, well we're selling time, we'd, we'd really like to sort of get an idea of how much it's gonna cost us to sell the home. Um, we'd love to know like what sort of sales you've made in the area. And you've given them the power and given them the control, which makes people feel comfortable when you do that. I hear this dialogue every time and you know, scripts that were working maybe 10, 15 years ago are not working today. And I hear this script around, so what are you looking for in an agent? Maybe rephrase that. It's a good question, by the way, but the way you could possibly get that out to the prospect could be, you know what, Tom, finding the right agent today, if you were to stop and think, can be quite challenging. Firstly, it's a pleasure for me to be here to discuss the sale of your home. And I suppose maybe we could have a little brief discussion or conversation around, what does the right agent look like for you? So if you notice there, I've just got them to, with the embedded command to stop and think, and then I've got them to focus on me and saying it's a real pleasure to be here to discuss the sale of your home, saying it's not that challenging to find an agent, it's me that you want. But then you're also giving them the power back and saying let's have a brief conversation of what the right agent looks like for you. Versus like, what are you looking for in an agent? That sounds really scripted. So do you understand how we're sort of starting to go into the imagination? Because at an un unconscious level, they're gonna be thinking, well, Tom, the right agent for us looks like, you know, someone that we can trust, someone who's really honest, can give us just, you know, exactly how it is and how the process of the sale of our home is going. And they'll open up, okay? Let's think about a callback script, an embedded command in a callback script. We've all heard it before. Most agents do their callbacks on a Monday, ring, ring, hi, Tom, it's Claudio calling from ABC Real Estate. Look, just wanted to get your thoughts on that property that you came through, number 24 Smith Street um, in Smithfield over the weekend, just to get some feedback for our vendor. We hear that all the time. You wanna be the purple cow in your marketplace. So how can an embedded command through NLP and tapping into imagination on the unconscious level sound in a callback script? Here it goes. Ring, ring. Hi, Tom, it's Claudio calling here. I met you on Saturday between 10 and 10.30. You came through number 24 Smith Street in Smithville. Um, look, just really curious to know exactly what attracted you to this home? So when I ask that question, what attracted you to this home? I'm going from my conscious level to my unconscious. 
and that's where the decisions are made and that's where you make people feel really comfortable. Well, Tom, we're actually looking at basically upsizing at the moment because the home we're currently living in with our two young children, you know, we're just outgrowing it. You've got two kids, tell me more about the kids, how old are they? And then you get on a personal level, that's where the charmability comes in. So do you understand how this is starting to work? So I dare you, no, forget that Tom, let's double dare these people out there today, that start using your charmability, but also start focusing on the imagination and getting into the unconscious level where all the decisions are made. And that unconscious level is that five to seven year old part in us. That's where we're like imagining our imagination. Think about when you wanna go somewhere on a holiday and you start thinking about Thailand, right Tom? Or somewhere like that, because Tom's off to Thailand next week. But here's the thing, once you start to get into that level, you make them feel really comfortable, they like you and they trust you. But watch out for the next video, part three, because you do need a roadmap and a structure to make sure you lead to the certain outcome that you're looking for.